Hello economics! Hey, welcome back. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020, and I am back, Mr. Bogner, your host, with a couple of updates for you for week four of virtual learning. As a reminder, please go to Google Classroom, mark this video as done so I can mark you present for the week. That's how I take attendance. And my next reminder, please remember to press that subscribe button, hit that bell. Just kidding, just kidding. Focus, Mr. Bognot, yes. All right, so again, go to Google Classroom, mark this video as complete so I can mark you present. Very important. So as you all know, what you should be working on right now, the only thing that I have provided for you is the EverFi application for you to work on, right? It covers the seven big topics, banking basics, income, employment, budgeting, consumer skills, credit and debt, financing, higher education, insurance. It's adulting 101, yo, and it's very crucial to have skills to manage your money because even though you might have like $20 lying around, how can I effectively budget this $20 to, you know, work in my favor in the long run, right? Should I, you know, at this very moment, go to a Starbucks and spend $10 on a Frappuccino Latte Grande Vendi? I don't know what that means, but I know you people who drink Starbucks use that terminology. Or should I put it away in like a savings account? Or should I put it away in, a, in the stock market? Or what should I do with it, right? So this whole EverFi platform teaches you all that. And since I can't really teach you these concepts since we're not in the building together, since we're doing this virtually, EverFi does a pretty good job doing this uh, for me. You know, instead of having your teacher explain it, you can have EverFi and you actually go through like some life simulator games and, you know, make decisions and see what the outcome is based on those decisions. But one thing I want to talk about is budgeting. Uh, just, uh, just a takeaway uh, for this week, something to think about for this week while you're working on EverFi is budgeting. How will you come up with an effective budget? How, as of right now, as a 17, 18 year old, will you effectively manage your money? Does that involve you writing things down? Does that involve you creating a spreadsheet? Does that involve you doing it all in your head? Is it even possible doing it all in your head? Because again, sometimes short term, we, we always look at things in the short term lens where we're like, oh, I, I need this now, I need this now, I need this now. But do you truly need it in the long term? Do you really need a new iPhone every year? Do you really need a new pair of shoes every single week like some of you have, right? Or should you be doing something else with your money? That's your takeaway for the week. Think about that. Do the module on EverFi, which is budgeting, and take a look at um, some key takeaways and see if you're already, you know, doing the things that you should be doing to be financially smart or whether or not you need to make some adjustments because you're about to enter the world of adulthood, yo. Yeah, and even though I'm an adult, I still say things like, yo, right? So continue working on that. About like seven or eight of you out of my uh, 80 some odd students have finished EverFi. So congratulations, you are now EverFi certified and you can put that on your resume. Again, it's, it's not just busy work. It's stuff that you need to start thinking about as an adult. It's scary time. It's scary transitioning from the world of uh, you know, childhood to adulthood because pretty soon some of you are gonna move out on your own and how much money should you allocate for food versus, you know, pleasure like Netflix and Hulu and YouTube Premium and all that fun stuff? Should you should you be even putting that much money if you make a certain amount or, you know, stuff like that, right? You know, you, you might look at me crazy saying, oh, you, I already know what to do. It's a common, it's not common sense. It's a skill. And that's something that EverFi does a good job teaching you. Ready? So that's all I have for virtual lesson number four for economics. I hope all of you are well. I miss you all. And I hope to see you again uh, very soon. Take care. Please email me if you have any questions. Please, please, please. Oh, I, I, I do have one more reminder with the citizenship test. If you did not pass the citizenship test, you need to retake it. You need to retake it as many times as it takes to pass the test so that there aren't any problems. And I've already addressed this to the people that are involved. There's about like 15 or some odd students that uh, still need to retake it or take it in the first place if you weren't here in December. Please, if, if you have some concern or if you knew that you did not pass or if you know that you never took it, please email me and we'll get it situated and I'll do my due diligence in checking in on those students who have not completed the citizenship test. That's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you next week. I'm always here for you. And remember, I love you. Take care.